Hello friends, this is my take on a black forest cake. Chocolate cake filled with whipped cream and cherries frosted with a chocolate pudding frosting. Topped with ganache and golden cherries. It is so delicious and beautiful. I hope you enjoy it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every week. Let's start by making the chocolate cake layers. Cream the butter at medium high speed for one minute. Add the sugar and cream for another two minutes. Add the eggs one at a time, waiting for one egg to be incorporated before adding the next one. Then add the vanilla extract. And then add the milk. Finally, add the dry ingredients, sift the flour and the cocoa powder. Also, add baking powder, baking soda and salt. And mix the ingredients to combine. Once the batter is nice and smooth, add hot coffee. If you don't want to use coffee, it's okay, you can just use hot water instead. Mix the ingredients together to incorporate. Distribute the batter evenly between cake pans. I'm using four six inch baking pans. You can also use two eight inch ones. Bake the cakes in the preheated oven for 15 to 20 minutes. The cakes are done baking when you can touch the top of the cake with your finger and it will spring right back. Also, as you can see here, the sides of the cake are pulling out from the sides of the pan. This is another indication that the cakes might be done baking. Once you remove the cakes from the oven, wait 10 minutes and then flip them onto a cookie cooling rack and let the cakes cool down completely. Now we're going to make a chocolate ganache. Some of the ganache is going to be used for the chocolate pudding frosting and the rest of the ganache is going to be used to drip on top of the cake. To make the ganache, we're going to need some good quality chocolate. I'm using dark chocolate here. Pour hot heavy cream over the chocolate and let it sit for about 2 minutes and then stir until the chocolate has melted completely. Let the ganache cool down until it comes to room temperature, about 72 Fahrenheit. Now let's sift together our cocoa powder and powdered sugar because we're going to make the chocolate pudding frosting. And also, once the ganache has come to room temperature, let's separate some of it to use in the frosting. Cream the butter with an electric mixer for about one minute until creamy. Pour the cold down ganache that you set aside together with the butter and cream for two minutes until incorporated. Make sure that the ganache is at room temperature. If it's warm, it's going to melt the butter. It's also good to stop and scrape the bowl in between to make sure everything is getting incorporated nicely together. Add the powdered sugar and cocoa powder to the bowl. 
Mix on low until combined and then raise the speed to medium and cream until the mixture is fluffy for about 2 minutes. Scrape the bowl as necessary. Add the vanilla and mix to combine. Now we're going to set the frosting aside and make the whipped cream filling. Whip the heavy cream with a mixer on medium or medium high speed for about 2 minutes. When you notice the peaks are almost stiff, add the powdered sugar and the vanilla. Whip for another 1 to 2 minutes until the peaks are stiff. For the filling, we're going to use this whipped cream and we're also going to use chopped cherries. So make sure those two are ready and you can start assembling the cake. So we're going to grab our cake layers and make sure they're even. So you may have to slice the top of the cake layers with a knife. Just like I'm doing here. Once that's done, you're going to brush some cherry liqueur on each cake layer. You don't necessarily have to do this, but it does give the cake a nice flavor and also a lot of moisture. We're going to start by spreading some chocolate on the bottom cake layer. Then pipe a ring of chocolate frosting around the edges of the cake. Place some whipped cream in the middle of the cake and make sure to spread it nicely to the edges. And then top with some chopped cherries. And then we're going to repeat the same thing for each cake layer. Place a cake layer on top, brush it with the cherry liqueur, then spread some chocolate frosting on top of the cake layer, pipe a ring of chocolate frosting around the edges of the cake, spread some whipped cream in the middle, and top with fresh cherries. Repeat this until you're done with all the cake layers. Now that all of our cake layers are assembled, we're going to do a cold crumb for the cake. That means that we're going to spread frosting around the cake on a thin layer to make sure that all the crumbs are sealed in nicely in the cake. Using an offset spatula, spread the frosting around the cake and then use a bench scraper to smooth out the frosting. After you're done with the thin layer of frosting around the cake, put the cake in the fridge for about 30 minutes. After the cake has chilled in the fridge, remove it and then let's spread a thick layer of frosting around the cake using an offset spatula. And I like to use the bench scraper 
to make sure that the frosting is smooth all around. And for the top of the cake, I like to use the offset spatula. Now our cake is mostly smooth except for the top. I'm just going to leave it like this and I'm going to place it on the fridge for a little bit. After about 15 minutes, I'm going to remove the cake from the fridge and I'm going to use a knife to slice the top excess frosting from the cake. Before you do the ganache drip, you need to make sure that the cake is super cold. So if your cake is not completely chilled, put it back in the fridge. And let's check on the ganache consistency. If your ganache set for a while and it has hardened up, you can place it in the microwave for just a few seconds at a time, mixing in between to get it to be at the right consistency. A test that I like to do is that I like to grab a spoonful of ganache and drip on the back of the cake and watch how it drips. If it drips way too fast, that means that the ganache needs to be a little bit thicker. And if it's not dripping fast enough, then you need to thin it out a little bit more. I like to do the ganache drip by placing the ganache in a piping bag and then snipping the end of it. To do the drip, I like to place the piping bag with the ganache on the edge of the cake and just let the drips flow. And then we're going to fill out the top of the cake with ganache. And finally use an offset spatula to smooth out the top of the cake. Finally, I'm going to put the cake back in the fridge again so the ganache has a chance to set. Meanwhile, I'm going to decorate the cherries. To decorate the cherries, you're going to need a bowl with water and some edible gold sheets. You can get those on Amazon. I'm going to place little pieces of gold leaf in the water, and then I'm going to dip the cherry in the water to make the gold leaf stick to the cherry. And then you can also use your fingers to make sure that the gold leaf is stuck in the cherry. And then repeat this until you have enough cherries to decorate the top of the cake. Once the ganache has sat nicely in the fridge, we're going to remove the cake from the fridge. I placed my leftover frosting in a piping bag fitted with a star tip. And then I piped some of the frosting on top of the cake and placed the cherries right on top. I hope you enjoyed today's recipe. This cake was absolutely delicious. I made it for my sister's birthday. The full recipe can be found at paisantacos.com. I'm going to put a link down below in the description box. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a like and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Bye.